Hey guys, welcome to Purpose My Way. I'm Shelly. Today I have some really cool goodies that I got thrifting. I went to two Goodwills, one Salvation Army. The prices were different at all places, uh, but this is the biggest thrift haul I've ever done. Like, and I, I don't think I've ever gone to three different thrift stores in one day. I mean, a lot of you are probably going, oh my word, well, how come? But I really, they're so far apart, it's kind of hard sometimes, but I did it. I did it yesterday, and I want to show you everything that I got. So let's get started. We've got a variety of, we've got Easter, we've got Valentine's, we've got everyday decor, we've got... Um, I, I don't know, I just went crazy and bought all kinds of stuff. I got organizational stuff um, and all kinds of good stuff. So let's just get started and I'll show you everything that I bought, okay? All right, Crocs. This one's got nothing on it as far as, it's got nothing, nothing on it at all. This one has, um, like all dinged up and some paint on it. I think it will come off some pen or marker or something, but I think it'll come off and I have some, I don't know, what is it? I have some crockery stamps that I'm gonna use on the front of these and put these in my booth. So most of this stuff is gonna either get redone and put on in my booth or um, I'm going to paint it or some stuff I'm just gonna leave the way it is. Uh, but this was, these were really cool. They were, they weren't marked when I picked them up uh, and they gave them to me for $5, so each. So, but I thought they would be pretty cool in somebody's kitchen. Um, let's get some of this stuff out of the way. So I got this because, well, number one, um, it's got red on it and I wanted to do some Valentine's so I wanted to throw some red in there and I thought it was a really cool little little uh, crock. I, I don't know if it's a really a crock, but like a ceramic with a wood top on it. And it was also pink, which was the color of the day. So this was originally $4 and I got it for two. So it's got a little hanger on it if you wanna hang it up. And it says at the bottom, it's a Nantucket. So I don't know. I just thought it was really pretty and red and it would go good for uh, Valentine's Day, so. Okay, I wanna get some of this out of the way before I break it. So I have never bought one of these before and I saw this and I thought it was really pretty. Um, I wanted to get it and put some stuff in it to, for decor, um, not for me necessarily, but for somebody else. So I'm gonna clean it up because it's a little dusty dirty and maybe put something in it with some lights, or maybe I'll just leave it uh, just the plain glass and see if it'll sell like that. But this was $4 at Goodwill. Okay, basket. I love the shape of this basket. It's round, it has the nice handle on it. I think it would fit some really pretty greenery or on the back of a toilet, it would fit a couple of maybe toilet papers in there, some, um, uh, I don't know, towels sticking out of it. Uh, it could be for anything. I don't really care for the color, but I love the bones of it. It's got a little bit of damage here, some battle damage, that's okay. So this was $2 at Goodwill. So I think I'm gonna maybe paint this one up or do something with it. So to make it a little bit more my style that will fit in my booth, but I really like it. It's a nice, solid, sturdy basket. So I thought it was cool. So something else I picked up, these are, I don't know, they're raffia pumpkins, I think. These were, they were. $4, but the tag was pink, so I got it for two. And I was gonna open it and show you, because I really didn't touch them to see what they were. Yeah, they feel like the raffia, but they're really cute, little pumpkins, and I think they'll be great for Halloween. I can pack these away and bring them back out when it's time, next fall, and do a little decor with these. I think they'll be very cute. 
So the other thing I got was some more uh, sconces or candle holders. This, these are really nice wood ones. I may just leave them the way they are and do just a, you know, um, a rusty star on them or just a tie on there. I thought they were really pretty. These were $5 for the pair, but they're pink. So I got them for $2.50. So I thought that was a pretty good deal. And they come apart. They're just taped together. So they go on the wall separately. But yeah, I really like those. Something I also found, this was $2 in the Christmas, but it is a little bird cage um, candle holder. And I think this front piece will come off. And I think what I'm gonna do is uh, paint it a different color and put something in there. I'm not sure what yet. Maybe just some greenery, I don't know. And just use it as decor, but for every day, not just for Christmas. Okay, I got a basket kit, um, which means they really highly taped it all over, like heavily taped it. It's crazy. Uh, this has got a uh, heart-shaped basket and then another one inside, and I thought they were really cool. This one on the outside, there isn't really anything fancy to it. It's a nice basket. I got some scissors out. I'm going to take this off and take a look at these. But I really like this basket a lot. Very pretty. Be great with some greenery and some flowers in there. So again, this could be for every day, but more heart-shaped stuff for Valentine's for my booth. This whole pack was $2, but the tag was pink, which meant 50% off. So I got them all three for a dollar. I don't know if I can get this one out. There we go. Oh, that one's really cool too. I really love the shape of that. That's very pretty. So those two are the reason why I bought it, but then they were stuck in with this one, which is fine. Um, yeah, very cool. Cute little basket, very nice. So I'll do a little something with that and uh, put it in my booth and see if it'll sell. This other thing, this is a light uh, cover. Doesn't have a top on it, but I thought it would be a really pretty uh, cloche if I put something on the top of it and um, could go over something. I've also bought these. Oh, it does fit. There's these little, I guess they're coasters, but they're wood. So this will actually fit on one of those. So I could do a little cloche if I did a little top on it. I think that would be really cute. This was $2. And this four pack of coasters was also $2. Wood. So these will do a lot of different things for $2. It's a really good deal. All right, so the next thing I got is this jar with the chicken wire on it. I thought it was really pretty. This was $4. I really like it. I have um, some like greenery and stuff that'll go in here. So I think it will look really pretty or you can do some lights. I don't know. I just really liked it. And $4 is a little bit more than I like to spend, but I thought it was pretty, so. Okay, another thing I got is for organization or just for your um, blankets, pillows, towels, whatever you want, uh, dirty laundry, <laughs> whatever you want to do. This was $4. It's a, like a rope basket and it's in very good shape. It's very clean, very nice little basket. I really like it a lot. So for $4, I thought it was a nice organization uh, thing to buy. So very nice little basket. Here we go. Okay. So this was from, this is something from Salvation Army. This is just a little, uh, like a ceramic, 
crockery with little sheep on it, more of a primitive decor, little sheep, little stars. And um, I thought it was really cute. So it was on the tag, it says $1.99, but I believe everything in the store is half off. Um, that's pink. I think everything is half off except for the white tags and those are 99 cents. I think, don't quote me, but I think that's how that one goes. So this was half off, so a dollar, 99 cents, I don't know which one, but yeah, so that was cute. This was also from Salvation Army, Valentine's or whenever. I thought this was really cute. I don't usually normally buy these. Um, I see a lot of them for sale and I always see them in the same place, so I figured they don't sell very well, but I don't know. I really liked it. We'll give it a shot, see if it'll sell in my booth. This was $1.79. It's a green tag, so it probably was half off on that guy. All right, let's see. This was a, just a really pretty little jar, and it's primitive little uh, salt box house on the top with a couple of stars. It needs to be cleaned up. But it's a nice little jar to put bathroom, kitchen, whatever. Uh, this was $1.99. It was a pink tag, so it's half off. But I just thought it was really pretty. And this was also at Goodwill. I really like this box. This was $3.99, I think, or maybe $1.99. One nine, I don't know, I, can't, I think it was one ninety nine. I can't tell, so I paid half price on this. But it's got four little compartments. So again, organizing, um, decor, I really like it. It's very pretty, uh, pretty color. I like the, the brown. And then it's got the leather handles. So you could put some jars in there, like mason jars or something. I think that would look really nice. So, pretty cool. All right, this guy, or girl, I thought was really, really pretty. She needs a little bit of love. Her little hat's loose. Um, her hair's a little bit crazy, but I thought she was really pretty. Little doll, she's got cute little, little boots on, and pretty little dress. I thought it was very uh, primitive country looking. So um, she has little seed packets in her little apron. And then she's got a little birdhouse and a pot of flowers, and she's carrying another little birdhouse here. I thought she was just precious. Again, with a little bit of love, she's gonna need a little bit of, you know, tying up, and her little apron is so cute. It's all tea stained or coffee stained. Very, very cute. But again, she needs a little bit of love and care, but I'll fix her up with a little bit of glue. She'll be good as new. $5, but she had a pink tag, so I paid $2.50 for this girl at Goodwill. Okay, I couldn't pass up this cute wire, chicken wire basket. It's a very, very adorable. Love it. Just love it. And this was $2 for this wire basket. Love the shape. Very cute. Could be a little egg basket, I suppose whatever you want it to be, but I thought it was very cute. Okay, I got this one for my daughter. This was marked $4, but it's pink, so it was $2. Uh, this is a candle with a um, pineapple on the top. The candle smells divine, and it's better home, so it's probably from Walmart or something like that, but I paid two dollars for it and my daughter loves pineapples So I thought I'd get that for her. It's brand new. So why not? It's really cute And a pretty color. I like the yellow And this is an Easter Bunny cute little Easter Bunny for uh, Easter Really love this Oh, I mean, somebody was really heavy with the tape at this place. Oh, sugar. Well, 
guess what? We just broke his little ears off. That tape is sticky too. Oh darn. My poor little bunny. Oh, bummer. I can glue that back on. That broke pretty, oh, that was broken before. There's some glue there, I think. That's what it looks like anyway. So he must have been broken before, but I'll glue his ears back on with some really good, probably E6000 or something, and he or she will be good as new. But it's very cute, a little jar with the lid, some little, little glass bowl hooked to his little feet. So cute. This was $1.79 at the Salvation Army, so I paid half price for this but those poor little ears, but he's so cute, huh? I really like him, but yeah, it looks like he definitely broke before. There's a little bit of glue on the back right there or something, but that's what it looks like. Anyway. Little bit of glue, he'll be good as new. And I couldn't pass this up either. I did pay a little bit for this, but so cute. It's like a raffia basket with these adorable little uh, carrots wrapped. This one's in raffia. Raffia. And then this one is like a burlap, orange burlap one. And it's got some little grass in there and then the little yellow flowers. I thought it looked so Eastery and it'll go great with my little bunny once I get them fixed. So I thought this was so cute, but I paid $5 for this basket, but I just couldn't leave it there. It was so stinking cute. I'll have to do a little bit of zhuzhing up with it. It needs a little bit. Um, the little carrots are a little bit loose in spots and um, not too much though. It's still pretty cute the way it is. I got this at, where is this? This was Goodwill for $2. It's a, just a, just a wood box with the three holes in it for um, whatever you wanna put in there. But you could do um, flowers, there's a bunch of glitter in there, so who knows what was in there. But um, flowers, candles, uh, I don't know, whatever, whatever you want, you could even, uh, use this as like a, you know, just something to stand things on so you can see the front. But um, I thought this was really cute for $2. Very primitive, rustic looking. All right. Okay, let's pull some of this closer here. I can't reach it. So another thing that I got at the Salvation Army, this was $2.79, but I get for half off. So it's a little chicken or rooster. I'm not sure, but it's the copper. And I just thought it was so cute because I have chickens, so I love that. So I thought it would be very cute. Thank you. Uh, wood bowl, also from Salvation Army. It was two ninety nine. Just, just a wood bowl. I just like that. I've done these up before. Um, I painted one. I think I stained the inside, or I left the inside stained, and I painted the outside, and I put it on a stand, I believe, and I sold that. I put a little chicken or rooster. A clay piece on the front of it. If I have a picture, I'll show you what I'm talking about. But that sold pretty quickly in my booth. It's very, very cute. This is a little bit smaller bowl, but I could do the same thing. I really like that idea. But I like that it's a little bit darker on the outside. I might not even need to do any painting to it. Or I could just leave it the way it is and then somebody could purchase it. Be a great display bowl, kind of like a dough bowl. But it's pretty. I got this um, recipe box. I thought this was very cute. This was from Salvation Army as well. Very tiny little recipe box. But I thought if I cleaned it up a little bit, 
uh, some of the nails are coming out in some spots. I don't know as I really like the dark, dark, dark color on here, and I'm not really a fan of this. It's very 70s looking. Um, and it's also got hangers on the back, which is cool. I'll probably leave those, but I'll probably repaint this, do something different. This was $1.99, but it was half price from Salvation Army. Cute. This thing, this is a little out of my ordinary, what I would normally buy, um, but it was really pretty and cute and looked very springish to me which I need that right now because we're in Maine and it, we just need that. I'm assuming it probably had a plate underneath it and I tried to find a plate that would go with it but I could not find anything that I really liked. So I'm gonna have to look around and see what I can find or I'll have to find something to paint to use. Um, I do have some sandwich plates that probably would fit. But I'll have to get all the tape off but it's got Know, the open bottom so you put a candle in there I guess and you can see the light through these little slats and the top you turn it comes off I don't see anything wrong with it there's no chips that I can find no cracks very cute little little teapot and very spring so this will go out with my Easter stuff probably and I'll have a little plate for it but it was very cute um, Let's see, I pulled the tag off, so I don't know how much I paid for that. $1.99, so 99 cents or a dollar, whichever, I paid half price. So, but it's got really pretty little butterflies and little birds on it, flowers, very dainty little piece, I love it. Okay, so the next thing that I got was this uh, clock. This looks kind of like a Hobby Lobby clock, but I really liked it, it was, $4.99, $4.89. So it is yellow sticker, so it was half price at Salvation Army. Very cute. I just put a new battery in it to see if it works and I can hear it ticking. So I'm pretty sure it works. I'll double check it before I put it out for sale, but um, you know, I'll put it, fix it on there and watch it to make sure that it works. And uh, But I really thought it was very cute. And it just stands up on its own a great little display so I like that okay I got this guy because I will probably repaint distress it make it look primitive probably take the little the eagle little placard off it I like it with the glass it's not broken it's taped up to like crazy but at least it'll stay on there it was four dollars but it's a pink tag so i got it for two so very pretty little candle holder i got this little bird cage i really like this um, so this would be great you could get a little cup to put in here with a candle um, greenery you could take this out probably and just put greenery in there I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with it yet I may keep it this color and I may paint it don't know but this was two dollars at Goodwill with the open bottom got this cute little wheelbarrow for four dollars at Goodwill thought it would be great for uh, it's great for any time but for spring mostly put some flowers in there or something and uh, make a little display be very cute but this little wheel little handles cute little piece this is very primitive it came with the pit berries which if you shop for pit berries you know that they're very expensive so it's a really cute little um, little stand it's black and distressed and then it's got the pit berries on there. They're white and black colored. It's got a cute, tiny little basket. Adorable. Little tag. What does the tag say? It says, take time to enjoy life's simple joys. Very pretty. It's got a little doily on here with a little um, star. Yeah, a little star. It needs to be glued because it's coming up. 
but that's all it needs and a candle in the middle and it'll be done. It'll be all ready for my booth and I didn't have to do anything with it. Mm. Well, I don't see a price tag on it. I don't know. I don't know where I got it and I don't know how much it was. I don't know. Probably Goodwill. And I would say it was probably $4. But I don't know. All right. $2 basket. It's got the stars, the wire stars on the top. Very pretty little burgundy uh, piece in the middle there. I like the colors. I like everything. It's a nice solid basket. It needs to be cleaned up just a little bit. It's Penny 2005, so it's got some age to it. And um, I like it. I'll probably sell it just the way it is. Like I said, I paid $2, so pretty good deal for a nice solid basket. This I got for $2 at Goodwill. It's a cute little tray. I may just leave it just exactly the way it is, but it is peeling up and bubbling here. So I'm not sure, but I really like it. This would be great for any time. You could do 4th of July, of course, because of the blue and the stars. But this could be any time. I just like the little tray, the little handles and everything. Very cute. Don't really have to do anything to it. And like I said, $2. I got this at Salvation Army. It was $2.99, but I got for half price. So it's just two little metal uh, olive buckets, I think they call them. Just a little organization. You can put your pens, pencils, markers, color pencils, um, whatever you want. It looks like it's been kind of bent and crushed a little bit, but I like the little envelope on the top. Put a little something in there. I don't know, I just thought it was really pretty. Put a couple of little greenery pieces in there, a little uh, something, a rusty tag or something in there. I just thought it was really cute. Okay. This is really pretty and I was bummed because one of the little knobs is gone, but I'm sure that I can either make one with some clay and try and match up the paint. I do have some burgundy paint. I think I can do it. Um, but this was $5 and this is from Audrey's at Lebanon, Pennsylvania. And it's a very cute little display box. The shelves in there. I love the front, the little metal front. Very cute little guy. Thought it was so pretty. But again, bummer that the little piece is gone, but that's okay. I may be able to do something with that. And that was five dollars in Goodwill. All right, let's talk about the sheep in the room. Look at that, or lamb, whatever you want to call it. But so cute. It needs a little cleaning up. It's got some splatters on it, like brownie mix or something. But um, very cute. Nice solid piece. Just a little cleanup, and I think it'll be great. Uh, Four dollars. And it looks like it was a home goods, um, a home goods piece. So it was $22, marked down to $12.99, marked down to $9. And then at Goodwill, I bought it for four. So definitely a cute piece. And I may even try to make a template and maybe do um, some of these on my own, something similar but very cute. Okay, this little step looks like it's seen some, some love over the years. Very beat up. It says not a step, a little timeout seat. Um, I like to do these up in primitive decor and then put uh, candles on them or displays. You can put your, your little dolls on there like so um, but I'll probably sand this down paint it probably do some kind something to it distressing some kind of something I'm not really sure yet but this was four dollars at Goodwill so 
very cute little chair. Okay, we're getting there, guys. Well, this is a big haul. Huge haul. <laughs> All right, so I got this for four dollars. Little lantern. I thought this would be great for winter decor. I do want to do a video on um, how I do my winter decor. I like to do that more than I like to decorate for Christmas, actually, um, because winter is just so much longer than the holiday season. And I love snowflakes and I love snowmen, so um, it just works great for winter. So we're gonna do that. But inside is got a little door here, which I don't know if it'll open. I might not want it to. But inside, there's all kinds of sort of tan balls, and there's flowers and seed pods, and I don't know, all kinds of goodies in there. All kinds of somebody just tucked a bunch of stuff in there. That one's falling apart. Um, I don't know. I don't, probably won't come out. But anyway. Lots of really cool stuff in there. So I thought, well, if I don't use it in this, I'll use it for something else. It's got a nice handle. But for $4, got all this stuff. Very pretty. Okay. This one needs a lot of cleaning and uh, pretty nasty, but it'll be very cute once it's clean. This is a little candle holder, a little primitive country looking candle holder. It's even got candle in there. It still smells really good. <laughs> Somebody used an actual candle inside, so there's candle wax in there. So what I'm gonna do is pop it in the freezer. Uh, all this candle wax will come right out and then I'll be able to soak it and clean it. It's got some crazing on it. It's really kind of cool looking. Um, but yeah, it's a very pretty primitive country. So I had to get that. Okay, what, how much was that? That guy was 99 cents. The It came from Christmas Tree Shop and it was $4.99 and they gave, it, ooh, they gave it to me for 99 cents. Oh, look at that. So all I gotta do is obviously clean out the top and then the inside, but yeah. That smells good. Okay, I have embroidery hoops a bunch of them. I got a whole pack, they were all together. This was from Goodwill for $4. Uh, I like to get these, save them up, and then I'll do I'll do something with them. I don't use them all that often, but okay, you never know. This was one of my favorites. This was from Goodwill for $4. It's a crock with really cute little handles on it. Cute little rooster on the front. Of course, I have chickens, so but um, I don't see anything wrong with it. There's nothing inside. That's what it looks like inside. Very, very pretty. No real markings. Oh no, there is. I lied. What does that say? Um, Monroe, Maine. Oh, it was made in Maine. Well, that's cool. Monroe, Maine. Very nice. Um, Again, taped up like crazy. Let's not break this one. There we go. Let's just tape right off. Beautiful, beautiful little crop. I really love this one. And I'm tempted to keep it for a little while, not because I need it for anything, but just because I love the coloring. And it's just beautiful. It was made right here in Maine. Very nice. Okay, I got this um, grapevine wreath star. It's got some pretty little holiday 4th of July decor on it. I'm thinking it's just glued and wired. So I think that will come off and I can make it more for everyday decor uh, with a little, some pit berries and some homespun twine or material or something and do something like that. This is really pretty, but it's very 4th of July, uh, and that's a very short amount of time. So this is, what I like to do is take things like this and make them more for everyday decor. 
So this was $2 at Goodwill. But yeah, I thought that was pretty. Now, this is a sign with like barn wood or something. Not really all that keen about the sign, but I love the wood that it was on. And I think it's put in with just nails, so I think I can just pop that out. It's got a little hanger on it already. And I can do either that or I can leave that on there and just put whatever I want over the top. But I thought this would make a really cute little home decor piece. And that was at Salvation Army for $2.99, but it was half price. This I couldn't pass up. I really loved the color on it. It's got to be brand new because the tag's still on it. From Sullivan Gifts, Sioux Falls, South Dakota. But I just love the color. It's like a green, a green gray color. Very pretty. Um, great for a display piece on your table. You can do a little vignette on the top. Very cool. It was $14.99 at wherever Heron's Variety, H-I-R-O-N-S. So it was $14.99. I got it for $2.50. So it was $4.99 and I got it for $2.50. But I really love the coloring. It's nice and, and uh, distressed. Very pretty. Okay, let's get this guy out of here. All right, very cool little, uh, again, organizer. Uh, this is a little dirty, yucky, but it's got little screws, so I think I can pop that out and put something else in there. It's got the hangers on the back. I could even do, uh, I could even get chalkboard paint, which I probably have do a chalkboard on there. That would be really pretty. And I really like this part here and the little um, tag holder here. Very nice. You could keep this as an organizer. You could put greenery, flowers, something in here. Um, this could be for, for anything in your home. You could put towels in there for your bathroom with a nice little sign on there. I don't know, it could be for anywhere. So this probably will get painted. Um, and again, I'll do something in the middle here and uh, make it more my primitive country style. This one is going to get cleaned up, wiped down, and go right in my booth. Love this sign. Very primitive country. Beautiful little sign. This was $4 at Goodwill just needs a little cleanup. It's already got the hanger on the back and it's just a little scuffed up here and there. So I'll just kind of get it clean, clean the glass and uh, this can go right into my booth. Found this really pretty wreath. This is, uh, and it's falling apart as we speak. Um, very pretty little wreath. It's got the branches on the back. It's got the berries, their cream, mustard, and green in there, some light, light greens, but I really liked it, thought it was very pretty. Would be great for spring or fall, I think. And I may put like some kind of a bow or a tie on it, I don't know. I may do something more with it, but I really liked it, I thought it was very pretty. And this was $4 at Goodwill. If I can keep it from falling apart, I keep losing pieces, but these big pieces I can glue and stuff them back in. They've been wrapped so I can stick them back in there, but it's just very dry, so, but very pretty. I think I've said in the past, I can't pass up anytime I see shutters. This one was a decor piece anyway. It said, bless this home with love. It's got some little stickers and stuff on it but I thought it was really pretty. It was $4, I, no, it was $2, sorry. It was $2 at Goodwill. So it was blank on this side. So, you know, working shutter. That was pretty, you can do something with that. A couple more things here. Okay, I couldn't pass this up. 
blank slate. It's kind of, it feels like it's just wood. It's a little rough, um, but it came from somewhere that was gonna use it as a tray because it's um, got the little stickies on it. It was $4, got a little hanger. Couldn't pass it up because it's a blank slate. You do a sign on it, you do um, anything to stress it. You can use it like that, put some candles on it, make a little vignette. Very pretty, couldn't pass that up. Um, this guy was a great deal. This was from Hobby Lobby, it's brand new. It's still got the greenery, uh, the tag on it. It's greenery, the tag there, $17.99. Yeah, it was $17.99. It had some big old like clumps of this, I think they were supposed to look like grapes. I did not like those, those stayed at the store. Uh, I redonated those. This, this was two dollars. There was no tag on it, so um, it was two dollars. I'd say it's must be five feet, five feet, six feet. I don't know if it says how long it is, but yeah, this is greenery garland from Hobby Lobby. This will be great in my booth to add some greenery uh, in the spring. So, or even now, could go now, anytime. But I really like that. So $2 at the Goodwill. Uh, this was at Goodwill as well. This was $5. It's like a little window frame with wired cotton balls. Very, very pretty. Um, they are bolted in, looks like. So if I don't want those on there, I can take those off. I'm not sure I'll keep them. I may do something different with this, but I may try and sell it like this and see if it sells. And if it doesn't, I'll bring it home and do something different with it. So I don't know, but $5, I had to get it. While I was there, there was a lady um, that went by and saw the cotton balls and she said she went to Georgia and picked cotton once when she was visiting her cousin or something. Uh, and she said it was a lot of fun. So. I thought that was really neat and she was telling me her story which I liked that was pretty cool she had a fun time in Georgia okay the biggest embroidery hoop I've ever seen this sucker is huge this was a dollar dollar 99 at the Salvation Army so it was half price so one dollar very cool. Don't know what I'll do with it, but I'll find something. And I think, last but not least, I found one of these flat dinner plate. I think you put your plate on it. Um, it's a little bit, not super sturdy, but I really like it. I thought it was really pretty. Um, I like to use these and make picture frame, like use it as a picture frame, do things like that in them. You could use this on your table to put a vignette on there with a candle and some whatever, potpourri, whatever you want to put on there. But I thought this was really pretty. This was not tagged either. Um, I think this was Salvation Army and I think it was 99 cents. It was, that's what I paid for. It was 99 cents, I believe. But anyway, that's all of my haul today huge haul for me. It was huge. Um, I got stuff, stuff everywhere. So now I'm going to go through and clean up what I want to put in my booth and get it tagged and then set the stuff aside that I'm not sure about that I maybe want to paint, maybe want to do something a little different with. And then the other stuff that's more holiday stuff that I can't quite put out yet. I have a big bunch of big tubs and I stick those in the tubs and then when it comes close to the season where I want to put the stuff out, I get them out and go through them, clean them, tag them, and put them in my booth. So I'm going to be busy and I'm still going to go thrifting. <laughs> Not for a little bit probably, but uh, this was fun. This was a lot of fun to do. I couldn't wait as I'm going through the store. I'm like, oh, I can't wait to show these guys what I got. There's just so much cool stuff. So I hope you really enjoyed that because I really did. Um, and 
pretty soon you'll see me doing some stuff with these and changing them up. Uh, and some of them you, you won't see me do anything with. And let me know what your favorite is. If you had something that you thought that looked really cool here, let me know. I want to know what you think. I hope you enjoyed it anyway. So thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Have a great day.